Hey YouTubers, good morning. This is Rob Muffet. Today we're going to do a little video on the High Point 9mm carbine. I'm going to go over the reasons I purchased mine. Uh, this is not a gun channel. I'm not a gun expert and I, I don't play one on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not a, a gun expert. But I am an expert in uh, trying to get in a good value for my money and uh, not wasting my money. And I spent a lot of time researching different guns, firearms, pistols, shotguns, carbines, rifles trying to figure out what was the best purchase for me for a, a home defense weapon basically millions of people have firearms and they use them for such purposes as that and uh, I said now it's time for me to get one so before I purchased one I spent a long time and even at the end I was down to between a Mossberg shotgun and the carbine but eventually I settled on the carbine and I thought I'd go over the reasons why I picked one in case you're on the fence trying to pick one you're trying to choose what gun to get everybody's different every situation is different and reasons are different but I thought maybe the reasons that I found to purchase mine might help you guys make up your own mind there's about 10 reasons that uh, I picked mine I also to be fair there's about a half a dozen reasons that people don't like the high point and I'll give them to you too at the end but let's real, go over this real quick uh, the first was cost. It's not the most important, but it, it's a factor. Cost was a little over $300. It was extra sewn in, and that was fine with me. Uh, the second, it's uh, reliability. With If you use the original clips that come with the, the, the carbine, um, everybody I've talked to say that this is a, a firearm that'll shoot just about anything you put in there. It's a very reliable gun. Uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with that respect. I haven't used enough to say that it is reliable, but but based upon my research, it doesn't get hardly any complaints from anything so long as people use the original 10 round clip or magazine. The the uh non-manufactured uh clips magazines, the 15 round ones, they seem to give people problems, but if you don't use those, about any 9 mm ammunition you put in there seems to work fine people don't seem to have any problem with the reliability of this firearm. To me that's very important. The third thing was the accuracy. Just about everybody says the same thing. It's a fairly accurate uh, firearm right out of the box. The, th the third, the, the fourth thing is uh, made in USA. Just because it's made in America doesn't mean it's good. But I like, I'm in America. I'm American. I like buying stuff. If I was in Mongolia, I'd buy a Mongolian ri rifle if I could. Uh, the next thing cost to shoot because it's a nine millimeter uses pistol ammunition it's it's inexpensive to shoot I was tempted to look into some of the foreign cheap uh, World War two vintage rifles you can get them for next to nothing but you know what the the ammo you want to go plinking with those you're not going to do it um, next thing was the interchangeability because it's a, a nine millimeter you can use this ammo with other handguns the next thing is the warranty. It has an excellent warranty from the manufacturer. If something breaks, they fix it. Uh, next thing is uh, the. It's, I think, because it's a carbine, it's easier for a beginner to shoot accurately than a pistol. Um, now I'm going to get some debate on that, but I'm going to stick with it. I think if if you have a person that hasn't have a lot of ex a lot of experience shooting firearms, and they have a pistol and a carbine, I think they're going to be more accurate with the carbine. They're using both hands. Next thing, it's not that important to me, but it has a longer range than a pistol. And then, next thing, now this is very subjective here. To me, it's more intimidating than a pistol. It looks like something Mad Max would use. It's, uh, I think it has a little edge over some other firearms in that respect. And the last thing, and one of the more important things and one of the reasons why I purchased it instead of the Mossberg it can be used by a wide range of people in age groups and genders I think a 13 year old girl and your 80 year old grandma can use it for the shotgun I don't think they can use it that well and they will be afraid to use it probably so those are my reasons for purchasing the high point and as opposed to other firearms and I looked at pistols and rifles and shotguns and carbines this is what I bought now why people don't like it, I looked at the forums, I talked to people and there's about six reasons that come out every time and among the six, number one, it's ugly. <laughs> yes it is. It's ugly but uh, 
uh, to me, an ugly go gun and a, a, a pretty gun, they're going to shoot the same uh, if, if, if you're on the other end of it. Uh, it's cheap. Some people say it's cheap. Why would you buy something like this? Because it's, well, they're going to spend a lot more money to them. The more expensive uh, purchases, the better it is. I'm not going to argue with them. That's just the reason some people give. Uh, I, I found something that's reliable. It seems to be working very, very well. Uh, that has a good warranty. That's very accuracy. Has a good accuracy. I don't care if it's cheap. I want more. <laughs> uh, some people say it's heavy. Well, if you're out there in the jungle, another 10 kilometers to go, yeah, it, it's going to be a heavy gun. I, I'm not going to argue with you there. It's it, it's uh, not a light gun. It's a little chunky. Some people say they don't like it because it's plastic. Well, it's probably going to last longer than I am. I mean, it's probably going to be in the closet for the next 20 years with any luck. Um, so I don't expect to put this in the mud and bury it in dirt uh, and dig it up later and hope it works. So, I mean, I'm more worried about myself being put in dirt another 20 years than my gun. <laughs> I think it's fine it's plastic, but it might bother you. Some people don't like a lot of plastic parts on their guns. Some people don't like it because it's 9mm. Um, I I don't have a problem uh, with a 9mm. But you can purchase this firearm, I think, in other calibers. I think for 45. The last thing, it's a little hard to take apart, a little hard to clean. Um, but that's over, you can overcome that little ex practice and experience. So those are some of the reasons people don't like it. So if you're on the fence trying to pick a gun, pick a firearm, this is what I picked, the reasons I picked it. Uh, I don't want to start any arguing with people. I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm just saying I know my situation, why I wanted to get one. These seem to fit the best. If I didn't have people in the family that already had a Mossberg, um, I figured it's good to have different firearms in a situation. This way there's more than one type of firearm available. And I think uh, looking at all the, the situations and the reasons and, and the, the, the things that the, the firearm had and didn't have, I think the high point was a good choice for me. Hope this little video helps you guys. This is not going to turn into a gun uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm not a gun expert. Like I said, this is probably going to be something that's going to be in my closet for the next 20 years. I might go to the range with my, my nephews and relatives and shoot. But uh, this is this is just something that... A firearm to me is like a parachute. You don't like parachutes. You don't want to use parachutes. You hope you never have to see a parachute. But if you need one... You're sure glad you got a parachute. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Hope this helps you. See you out there.